Hello and welcome back to my Pokemon Journeys review series. Today we are reviewing episode 103 and I hope you enjoy. So kicking us off for this two part, Ash and Go arrive in the Kalos region, where Ash is competing in a battle with the Elite Four member Drasna, and he's decided to head to the Lumios gym to train with his old companions Clemon and Bonnie. And Ash is pretty worried, he sees Drasna on TV and starts to get very nervous, as he knows that in order to take down Leon, he has to beat an Elite Four member first. You also see a shot of Diantha on TV, which could mean that she's a part of the Masters 8. Ash heads to the gym while Go heads out to hunt down some Kalos Pokemon, and how poetic it was for Go's first Pokemon he runs into to be a Froakie, one that doesn't let him catch it easily. He also runs into Bonnie, which continues the trend of him running into Ash's companions first, like Lana and Iris. After Go catches the Froakie, they head to the gym, and Go learns that Bonnie is Clement's sister. And then at the gym we get reintroduced to Clemon absolutely slaughtering this guy with his licky licky. Nice to see a glimpse of a gym battle here, similar to how we saw one when Ash visited Karina. Ash and Clemon finally reunite and it was really wholesome, both of them bringing out all their Pokemon. Clemon was really interested in Ash's rare Galar Pokemon, while Clemon's Bunnelby has now evolved into a Diggersby. Which makes sense as Bunnelby was pretty strong, we also got the Dragonite trademark of jumping and hugging Clemon just like he did with Iris. It was nice to see all of Ash's Journey's team out here all at once, something we've been robbed of all series long. Bonnie and Go arrive back at the gym and Ash and Clement begin some special training. Surfetch is standing doing this weird training technique and glowing orange, so it's trying to perfect a new move. And they learn this move is Meteor Assault. Clement sets up his whole machine and tries to help out Ash and track Surfetch's progress, similar to how they tracked Ash Greninja's performance. Ash geeks out about the science again and it captures the old XY vibe so well and it was just so nice to see them all back here together. There was also a adorable scene with Bonnie where she goes over to Dracovish and starts tickling its chin. After some training with Surfetch, Dracovish and the Clement machine, Ash and Clement decide to have a double battle which was awesome. And although it was just a short battle at the end of the episode, it was still actually really good with Surfetch managing to perfect his Meteor Assault and knock out Clement's Luxray with just one move. But Surfetch wasn't the only Pokemon getting development in this episode, as Dracovish also learns a new move being Dragon Dive. Throughout the episode, it was seen biting down on Surfetch's stick when it was trying to use Meteor Assault, so I guess this just prompted Dracovish to learn a new move for itself. So Ash beats Clemon and wins this double battle, and now looks ahead to Drasna in the next episode. Drasna is seen training with Wickstrom at the end of this episode, which was also a really nice touch. So I really love this episode, the training aspect was probably my favourite part, I feel like we are lacking so much of that with Ash's Journey's team, so whenever they get some focus it's always nice to see. And then you add Clemon and Bonnie in the mix and it just makes for the perfect episode. Both of them had some hilarious moments and a great dynamic with Ash and Go. If the episode didn't exist and Ash went straight into the Drasna battle with no training, then it wouldn't make much sense if he won. But this episode makes it a lot more likely after the training that's been done, so I really enjoyed this episode and it gets a 9 out of 10. Make sure to stay tuned for my episode 104 review which will be coming out shortly as well. But let me know what you thought of this episode, what is your rating, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.